East African Community, an economic bloc that aims to boost trade among the region's countries, just got a major boost. The Democratic Republic of the Congo joined the EAC on Tuesday. Its addition will provide member countries access to maritime routes to Europe and the Americas via ports along the Atlantic Ocean. The DRC is a $50 billion economy and has a population of about 90 million people. So its inclusion in the pact will boost the EAC's market from its current size of about $194 billion. The country is also a member of other regional trade pacts, including the Southern African Development Community and the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa. And analysts say it could help improve coordination between these groups, paving the way for closer economic ties across the continent. For more on this now, let's go to Agnes Gitau, GBS Africa Managing Partner and a board member of the Eastern Africa Association. Many thanks for being with us today. Agnes, first of all, how significant is the inclusion of the Democratic Republic of Congo in this Eastern Africa community? It is incredibly uh, significant. Uh, there's an additional uh, 90 million people uh, create economies of scale, markets for businesses, uh, opportunities, as you said earlier, for closer economic ties, and also towards the African vision on a fully integrated region where we can trade with each other freely. Right. Can you also walk us through uh, what are the main aims uh, of this block? We've just heard there are quite a few trading associations in Africa. What are the main aims of the East um, African community? Traditionally, Ludvika, we have traded uh, with uh, countries out of the continent, uh, which uh, to some extent doesn't add much value to the continent uh, in terms of value addition. So the main aim of the EAC block is to promote trade, uh, free movement of goods and, and, and services, free movement of capital, free movement of, of people um, as well. But um, ultimately, it's for the economic development of our region. We know trade is essential. Trade is, is essential for growth. And, and by DRC joining the Econo uh, East Africa community, this will further promote that. Interesting. And, and the block is now preparing the ground for its third pillar, right? Its monetary union as well. How will it work? Can you help us understand that? Well, that's a vision and a dream for the Eastern African uh, community. Back in 2013, um, they, they adopted the protocol of fully integrated the East African Monetary Union. I'm not sure whether it's worked anywhere. The Europeans tried it. It didn't work. But the idea is to harmonize monetary and physical standards, harmonize um, payment uh, systems, harmonize accounting and other standards, which uh, with, a, with a vision of having an East African Central Bank. Look, um, uh, we already have a common market, uh, which was uh, established uh, back in 2010. We have a customs union, um, which also came into force in 2005. So the monetary union is the next vision, hopefully uh, next year. But as I said, a lot bigger it is we are all all the members of the East African community are at different levels in terms of economic development. So it may be a challenge, but that, that's the general vision for, for the I region. And also ultimately to promote trade, make it easy for movements of goods and services across the region. Absolutely interesting, also in light of what's happening elsewhere. I mean, for instance, in, the, you know, in, the, in Europe, in the European Union. I mean, what does this addition of the Democratic Republic of Congo uh, mean for countries outside uh, of the East uh, African community in Africa? So I, I, I tell you what it means. DRC is a magnet for investment. You know the, how rich the, the country is in terms of resources. It's what the world, are one of the largest producers for, for cobalt, and, and they have other minerals too. So it means uh, hopefully the DRC will access uh, investors um, and, and it will be probably easier based on the system that ESC membership provides, probably be easier for investors to get into DRC. And also um, uh, the country is Landlock, but you will have access to uh, the Mombasa and the Jerusalem port. So giving it again an opportunity, um, um, opening it for opportunities for trade uh, flows and investment flows. Agnes Gitao, many thanks for walking us through that.